Now I know Iwo Jima is not a part of Into the Jungle chapter, but I'm going to be talking about Into the Jungle in this gameplay. Hey everyone, what is going on? It is Baron here. You're going to want to watch this video all the way through today, all the way through. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit the little bell, get all the notifications, and share it with your friends. So, straight into it. The Battlefield Into the Jungle. My thoughts and somewhat of a review on it. So, my thoughts on it is, it's fantastic. It brings back Battlefield for me. It brings back what Battlefield was always about and what it will always be about. Long distance killing <laughs> and deathmatch. So, if you haven't played the new DLC maps or the new Into the Jungle maps, I would definitely suggest going into it and checking them out. Now, I'm playing this on Xbox and I have to say, on an Xbox, this has amazing graphics. The like the in-depth detail they have gone into. You see leaves blowing around individually. I'm not playing this on 4K at the moment because I've got a capture card, but I would I love it in 1080p. It looks flippin' amazing. I don't think anyone else could argue with me the way it looks and the way it feels, and just going back to the nostalgic feeling of 1943. So if you haven't played it, go and check it out. It's not hard. All you have to do is search for a game and pretty much you're in. So going through this, I'm going to say it does bring back the feeling of Battlefield for me. It's brought back the feeling of what Battlefield was all about. I know that the other maps do have that sort of feeling, but I just couldn't get into it. Now, the way I feel about this, the reason I feel like this is because they brought Wake Island back and it just sort of brings back that old school feeling of Battlefield where it was all about the player and the actual team you're with. So it doesn't have that sort of team feeling because when you search for a team, it, you're not going to get that sort of where they're going to come revive you. But it's got the feeling that it's a legitimate gameplay where no one's going to actually be having like sort of a toxic gameplay style where it's all sort of everyone's on the same page with each other. Now obviously as Battlefield has grown over the last few years it has brought in a younger generation of gamers and a more competitive side to it. Though these maps do feel like they have brought back the old school like the old gaming style of Battlefield. It's great but it does still have that competitive style to it which isn't too bad. It actually isn't that bad. I wouldn't really complain about it just yet but it does get pretty bad sometimes. Though, this map here, I don't mind it. If you've got a good team, like I said, you are not going to have any bad luck. You're not going to have a bad time in the actual game itself. You're probably going to enjoy it a little bit more. But saying that, someone else is going to have a bad day if they don't have a good team. As you can see, I'm still using the M1A2. This rifle is fantastic. I do love it. I've always loved it. Even though I don't have like all the attachments for it, and I haven't leveled it up that much, it's still a great rifle and I would definitely suggest using it. So on to younger generations playing this. So as you can would know, people, the younger generation have been playing Call of Duty and have sort of just found their way into Battlefield. Now Battlefield isn't always, it's just sort of sat around where it's always sat and hasn't been as big as what it always is, but it's not as big as Call of Duty, obviously for obvious reasons. So I still, would really highly suggest Battlefield 5. I wouldn't go back to Battlefield 1 being that it didn't really have that sort of a gameplay style that you would enjoy. It didn't feel very fluid and didn't feel like it was Battlefield at all. Now this Into the Jungle DLC or the Chapter 6 is where they have started to bring in Easter eggs. So there's one for the Predator for what I've heard. There's a Crocodile Easter egg. So I'm going to go try find those and check those out and bring that to you guys. But just going through this gameplay and the map styles they've brought out in the Asian sort of region, it's really great. If you go back to Wake Island, it does, like I said, bring that nostalgic feeling back because I think that's what they've tried to do is bring back that nostalgic feeling so that people from a older era of Battlefield will come back and hopefully enjoy the game. Now getting into in-depth gameplay, I feel that this game has really changed. So I know it doesn't really sound like it makes sense, but I feel that this game has made some major changes with this DLC they've added. So why I've said that is because like I said just before, it's bringing back an older generation of Call of, uh, Battlefield players, but they've always been there. Now for some people, they haven't played this because of the feeling it's brought into the game and just not enjoying the game style like I've done myself. 
So if you come back into this DLC, it would be good to actually start off with this and sort of easily work your way off into the other pieces of Battlefield. But I think myself, I'm gonna stick with this DLC. I'm gonna stick with it for a while. I'm not gonna really differ from it and go somewhere else because if I go for, I feel like if I don't play this DLC and play on these maps, I'm not going to enjoy Battlefield like I would be if I were playing these maps and these game styles. The reason I say that is because like I said, I played Battlefield 5 for a little while for a few months, lost interest. I don't know if it's me growing and just not being interested in the game anymore but I feel like this has added that sort of a feeling back now the reason I love Battlefield as well is because it's got an elegant feeling to it it's got this game style guy game style type where you can enjoy yourself and get kills and just enjoy the map while you're playing because if you play Battlefield you enjoy the little things they do the little map in the back bottom left you enjoy the way they put the team the squad numbers there the squad members there up in the top you've got the score you've got the objectives in the bottom right you've also got the people who are in the vehicle just the way they've put the layout in the game is really great and i think they've also done this for youtubers mainly and streamers but it also gives it that clean UI feeling. As you can see here as well, when you die, it's really clean. They like they, I would say the user interface is elegant and clean, which I think is the best bit about Battlefield. They also go into a lot of detail with their games, their maps, and just their weapons. So if you haven't played Battlefield and you're thinking about playing Battlefield from going off reviews and just gameplay, don't listen to what other people say. Watch the gameplay for yourself and see what you think of it. Now, I would definitely suggest buying Battlefield 5 because it obviously being one of the most popular games at the moment um, in the Battlefield franchise and the DICE franchise. So if you're going to play a Battlefield, I would definitely suggest playing this game. So if you have played Battlefield, you will know. And I want you to put down in the comment section below how much you enjoy this game, why you enjoy it, and why you don't enjoy it, and the pros and cons. Because this is actually going to be a video where people hopefully come to, and they're going to see what others think of Battlefield, and what they're going to take from those comments. So we need to give Battlefield a really good reputation, which it already has. It's already great. But we need to try and push it past Call of Duty and grow it more than what they have. So I've talked for a while and I've gone on about how this DLC will bring back Call of Duty. So I've talked for a while and I've spoken about how this is going to bring Battlefield back into the game. Now, obviously, it might just be me feeling that Battlefield had changed. I keep saying Call of Duty, which is really annoying because I've been playing for so long. Now, Battlefield, like I said, if, to me, it felt like it changed. To others, it might not have felt like that. But to me, it seriously felt like it changed. has probably changed it for the better. So, like I said, if you haven't played it, definitely give this a go and check it out. This has been Aussie Gamer, Aussie Accent. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit the little bell to get all those notifications, share the video with your friends, and help me out. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed, everyone. Peace. Thank you so much for watching.